This is the solution to written homework 70. Okay. So, in the first place, let's compute the inverse. So y is 6x minus 8 over 3x plus 2. So now we'll swap the variables. x is uh, 6 y minus 8 over 3y plus 2. Multiply both sides by 3y plus 2. So 3xy plus 2x equals 6y minus 8. So now I'll move everything with a y to one side and everything without to the other side. So this will be 3xy minus 6y is negative 2x minus 8. And to be clear, this one went over here, that one over there. <coughs> Factor out the y, that would be 3x minus 6y is negative 2x minus 8. So y is mm, negative 2x minus 8 divided by 3x minus 6. <coughs> and therefore, the answer is that the inverse function evaluated at x is negative 2x minus 8 divided by 3x minus 6. Okay, so in a sense that's the alleged inverse. So now we need to verify that this is in fact the inverse um, by composing the function in its inverse in both orders. So 2, now we verify. So such functions like this are called, um, they happen to be called Mobius functions, and showing that the function composed with its inverse is uh, actually equal to the identity function is an algebra circus for Mobius function, so let's do it. So f composed with f inverse, evaluate at x. Alright, so that's f of f inverse of x, so that's 6 f inverse of x minus 8 divided by 3 f inverse of x plus 2. Okay, so then that is equal to 6, and then now that negative 2x minus 8 over 3x minus 6 minus 8 over 3 that thing negative 2x minus 8 over 3x Six hmm. this so that's that's fixed now. 
there was a parenthesis there, but it needed to be moved over. Uh, then plus two. Okay, so let's check. Does that look right? Yes. Okay, so now the trick is is that we're going to take this expression and simplify it as much as possible. And when we do it carefully, we're eventually going to get an x, just x. Okay, so within the numerator, just in the numerator, we want to find a common denominator. So uh, that means we'll multiply this to numerator and denominator of the 8. Okay. <clears throat> So that will be 6, negative 2x, minus 8, and then minus 8 multiplied by 3x minus 6. And then all of this is over 3x minus 6. So that's just the numerator. Then the denominator. So 3, I'll take to that numerator. So 3, negative 2, 8, 2x minus 8. And then plus 2 times 3x minus 6. And all of this over 3x minus 6. So that is to say that in the numerator we found a common denominator and in the denominator we found a common denominator. So now I'll simplify each of these a little bit. So 6 times negative 2x, that would be negative 12x minus 48 and then minus uh, 24x, 24x, plus 48, all of this over 3x, minus 6, Multiplying out the numerator, that would be uh, the numerator of the denominator. That would be negative 6x plus, no, minus 48. And then plus 6x minus 12. Six x minus twelve. Oh, wait a second. Three. So this should be twenty four. Wow. Okay. <clears throat> be careful here. Okay. So then, negative six x minus twenty four plus six x minus twelve this 3x minus 6. Okay. So that'll be negative 12x minus 24x. So that'll be negative 36x. And then the 48s cancel. So that'll be over 3x minus 6. Okay, negative 6x plus 6x, those cancel, so just the constants remain, so negative 36. Over 3x minus 6. So now, this is division by a fraction, which is the same as multiplication by its reciprocal. So this will be negative 36x divide by 3x minus 6 
and then multiplied by the reciprocal of this, this will be 3x minus 6 over negative 36. Well, the negative 36 is cancel. So we get x times 3x minus 6 over 3x minus 6. The 3x minus 6 is cancel. And we get just x. <laughs> Incredible. Mm, algebra circus. So that's one order. So now we need to verify the other order. Which is to say we need to do f inverse circ f evaluate at x. Well, that is f inverse of f of x, which is that's f inverse. So negative 2 f of x minus 8 divided by uh, 3 f of x minus 8. <coughs> no, 3, 3 f of x minus 6. OK. <coughs> So that, in turn, is equal to negative 2, and then now plug in f of x. So 6x minus 8 over 3x plus 2, and then minus 8, divide by 3, 6x minus 8 over 3x plus 2 minus 6. And now for this, we need to simplify it as much as possible and then wind up with an x. Okay. So basically the same procedure as before. Within the numerator, we need to find a common denominator. It is 3x plus 2, so negative 2, 6x minus 8, multiplied by negative 8, multiplied by 3x plus 2, and all of that over 3x plus 2, as for the denominator, that will be 3 times 6x minus 8, and then minus 6 times 3x plus 2, all of this over 3x plus 2. Okay. Then the numerator will be negative 12x plus 16 minus 24x uh, minus 16 over 3x plus 2. In the denominator, that'll be 18x minus 24, and then minus 18x uh, minus 12 over 3x plus 2. So in the numerator, negative 12x minus 24x is negative 36x. The 16s cancel, and then this is over 3x plus 2.
the 18 X's cancel, so we get negative 36 over 3x plus 2. Dividing by this fraction is the same as multiplying by its reciprocal. So negative 36x over 3x plus 2 multiplied by 3x plus 2 divided by negative 36. And just like over here, all that stuff cancels. And what remains is x. So therefore, <clears throat> therefore, f and f inverse are compositional inverses.